None of them are dry. They just break. Look at that. All this hard work in the trash. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my spooky craft corner. So earlier, I went to my local grocery store and picked up a couple of cute little pumpkins, but unfortunately, these aren't gonna last forever. So I went over to Michael's and I got some fake ones instead. They sold three different kinds and that gave me a great idea. So for this first pumpkin, I'm gonna have one minute to carve it. So since I only have one minute to carve this pumpkin, I'm actually gonna pre-gather all of my supplies. That way, I'm not frantically just running around and looking for them. Easy peasy, beautiful cover girl. So I guess the countdown starts right now. Let's do it. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what I would do. Ah! Oh my gosh. I didn't even have like a pre like thought out scary face. I just kind of went with it and I already messed up. Let's see. 30 seconds. I spent 30 seconds just drawing the face. Okay. This is why I brought the torch. Come on. I don't know if I'm gonna actually be able to do this in the time that I have left. That's nuts. Uh, oh, that went through like butter though. Wow, that definitely helped. Ooh. Ugh, that smells like burning plastic. Beautiful. Oh, and I ran out of time before I could even finish it. I don't think one minute is enough time for me to completely carve a pumpkin. So I'm just gonna finish this one up a little bit past the time. It's the first one, it's practice, okay? So this ended up taking me like three minutes to carve. Not bad, uh, but it's definitely not one minute. <laughs> but you know what? I think it still turned out pretty cute. Uh, it's just a cute little jack-o'-lantern. Maybe throw a little candle in there. Not bad. So this is what I could do in realistically five minutes. I didn't speed on this because I didn't want to cut myself with the blade. That's also very important, guys. Don't cut yourself with the blades. They're very dangerous. Now let's see what I can do in one hour. So now we go on to our slightly bigger pumpkin. I don't have a lot of surface area to work with. It's a little bit squished. You see, I guess I'm gonna have to do like a long mouth maybe and some scary eyes. So starting exactly right now, I have one hour to carve this pumpkin. I actually have no idea what I'm gonna do for this. So I'm gonna look up some spooky pumpkin inspo. Ooh, I really like this one. So I have to put this onto there. I think I can do it. It looks a little complicated, but you know what? I'm gonna try my best. So it looks like we have some very jagged lines. It needs to kind of like curve a little bit. I hope I'm not doing too many because every one I do, that's one I have to cut out. <laughs> Oh, and then I still have to fit his eyes in there. I'm not gonna have any room for his eyes. Okay, so this is why I did it in pencil. We'll try this again. I'm gonna start with the eyes this time maybe. Way too low. Dude, I am so good at this. I'm just so good at art. Oh my gosh, I've already used seven minutes. Ugh. I'll try and clean it up in the carving. If not, you know, it is what it is. So now I gotta do kind of like the opposite. I'm just gonna give him some, some tails on his eyes, just really make him spooky, you know? So far his eyes, turn it out good. Now I gotta do his mouth. I'm just gonna do the edges of his mouth first because I think it'll be easier. I decided I'm gonna put him in this little stand to maybe help me hold me in place. Honestly, not bad. This was a cheap laptop stand that I made. Uh, I didn't have paint, so I just covered it in tape. <laughs> <laughs> of course I did. 48 minutes on the clock. So I'm done drawing out the mouth and it only took me 15 minutes to draw everything. So now I have to carve all the details out. I don't know if I can do this in an hour. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm gonna try my best. I'm making admittedly way better time than I thought I would. Now the mouth, this is gonna take probably longer than both the eyes combined. Ooh, <sighs> one section down. Okay, cool, got all that out, nice. Intern, where are you intern? I forgot he doesn't work today. Feels like no matter how hard I try, I always get super glue all over my hands and it's just a, gross super glue mess afterwards. Then my hands get all, ugh, gross. Ah! 
We got one over here. Hopefully that holds it in place. I'm gonna let the super glue dry and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the final touches on it. And with the last eight minutes I have left, I'm gonna carefully take my paint and uh, paint the inside of my pumpkin boy. This is much harder than I thought it would be. I think I might actually have to cut off his top. <laughs> Oops. Ah, uh, I can feel him breaking. The super glue's not dry yet and I only have seven minutes, but I have no choice to do this. There we go. Six minutes left, I have to paint. Maybe if I just put the paint in there. <laughs> Just dump it all in, swirl it around so the paint just gets everywhere. Just paint in his eyes, his mouth. <gasps> no! I broke his mouth! What have I done? Oh, I messed up. Just pretend that's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> it's just a jack-o'-lantern, Robbie. You don't gotta get stressed out about it, okay? But I kind of feel like I have to when I only have two minutes left! Oh my gosh, that's still very broken. That super glue didn't even work. Ah! It's falling off, that's so stressful. Stay there, please just don't move. Oh my gosh, I messed up so bad. So now that the time is done, I'm gonna go ahead and say that uh, this is complete. Um, I was gonna wash all the black paint off, but I just didn't have time. Plus, you know, the black paint kind of looks cool anyway. But overall, you know, spending an hour on this, I'm actually pretty happy with it. You know, it could have turned out a lot worse. I guess we'll see how it looks in the dark. So for the biggest pumpkin, what I think I'm gonna do is make this guy into Audrey 2. I swear I didn't mean for that to rhyme. Uh, that was a complete accident. Now, there's a lot that goes into uh, turning this into this. So um, I'm gonna have to probably do a little blueprinting first. So the first thing to make Audrey 2 is I'm gonna need to make the head. So there's actually a bunch of different versions of Audrey 2. We got some big ones, we got some small ones. This one looks pretty promising. I could make a giant version of when he was tiny in the Maxwell House coffee can, but then I'd have to find a giant Maxwell House coffee can or something like that. I'm kind of thinking something along the lines of this. We just got a bunch of these really really big, beautiful vines growing up into this bulb, like the flower, but this is gonna be our pumpkin. And I think I'm gonna keep the head kind of very pumpkin-like so that it just kind of blooms into a pumpkin with big old teeth like that. So I'll start off with our pumpkin and then it's gonna have like the mouth. That'll be the bottom of the pumpkin. And then I think I wanna keep the stem as the nose. Or would it make sense to have the stem coming out of the stem? Because I think that would make more sense. Otherwise, I'll have all these vines kind of coming out of the back. I think I'm gonna have to get rid of the stem as the nose idea. It would be pretty fun though. But I'm gonna put the stem back here. Then we're gonna get ourselves a pot, add some leaves, or maybe some stems. I could add some like fun little pumpkin stems even, like growing off of it. That would be fun. Some like little turny turns. This is the stem for the pumpkin. Then we need some big old teeth. So this is looking pretty good, but I think it would be even better if I added some of these leaves maybe. They have like a big leaf behind this one. I'm not sure how that would really look with pumpkins. How do pumpkins grow in the wild? Pumpkins growing in the wild. So they kind of look like this. So I'm probably gonna have to go in and make the leaves separate. I don't know where I would buy leaves like this. Especially cause they have like that, uh, those little spikes on them, like the little furry texture. So I have to figure out how to add that furry texture to it. So we're basically gonna need the pumpkin head, the leaves, and the stem. And then we have to figure out how to put it all together. So I guess the first thing I'm gonna do is make the pumpkin head. Cause that seems like the most interesting part. Also, we could call it something like Audrey 3, but I'm gonna call this one Tor. Tori 2. Oh yes, Tori 2 looks absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna give this to my girlfriend when I'm done, by the way. Let's start on this pumpkin head. So as I've been looking at it, I genuinely think that keeping the stem as a nose would be really cute. Because if you look at classic jack-o'-lanterns, they're essentially growing out of the bottom of the pumpkin anyway. It doesn't make any sense, and I never really thought about this until now. But you know, th they still have a stem on the top, see? It's like this, you see? It's, it's, it's the same concept. Like, there's the body, and there's a little stem coming out of that. 
So I think it would make sense to make that the nose. I'm just gonna make that the nose. That's my artistic idea. First thing I'm gonna do is draw a line where I wanna cut the mouth. I think if this sort of, the stem was like the very tip and then go down one of these lines. Yeah. Then just go evenly down one of these lines on either side. Would that be a big enough jaw? I don't think so. I'm gonna make the jaw just a little bit bigger. Erase that line. This is exactly why I'm using pencil. Now I need to go and grab my X-Acto knife, which is actually right over here. A boobity boo. Now I'm gonna carefully cut this bad boy. It's already coming together. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty happy with that so far. Now, I need to figure out how I'm gonna keep this open like this. Or alternatively, I could just keep cutting it. There we go. Now the first thing I'm gonna do while I have it open is paint the entire inside black. Or maybe I might actually do red. Audrey too had purple on the inside of his mouth, so I could do red or purple. I also forgot to set a timer, so here's 10 hours, guys. This is only gonna be 10 hours when I'm physically working on the pumpkin. I'm actually going to put nine hours and 45 minutes since I already technically started working on it. I genuinely hope that I can give this guy justice and uh, you know, put in the proper work it deserves. Okay, let's get to painting the inside of this pumpkin. This beautiful purple. I almost want to mask off the outside of the pumpkin before I do this, but I have time so I can just wash it off if I mess up, I guess. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna put this pencil here to hold it open. Life hack! So just painting it took about 15 minutes. So while this is drying, I'm gonna start working on the stem. So for the stem and the vines, I think I'm gonna have to make them kind of rigid yet bendable. And that's why I have this uh, super thick wire. This is 16 gauge dark and a lead wire. It's for like making models and stuff, but basically I'm gonna use a bunch of these, put them inside of his stem, and then I think I'm gonna cover these in rope and uh, maybe some cotton balls, maybe a little bit of tissue paper, and then just completely uh, just drench the entire thing in latex, paint it green, boom bam, we're done. So I have my tissue, now I'm gonna have to go get some rope. I tried looking inside of my rope box, but I didn't see any rope that I really felt fit the vibe of vines. So I decided to give my good friend Dummy Robbie a visit. Hey sir, how you doing? Looking a little bald there. I decided I'm taking these. Thank you so much. I'll pay you back. Oh, oh my gosh, that guy is so creepy. So now that I have my rope, I'm just gonna take our anti lid wire and just string it right through. Luckily, this comes apart into three pieces, so it's pretty easy to put it through this rope. I'm just gonna occasionally put it through one of the little strings just to help hold it together. Let's hope this rope holds itself together better than I do. I haven't actually decided how long I want his stem yet, but I'm thinking if it's two feet tall, that should be great. So here's my ruler, and I'm gonna cut this to be about two feet long. A boobity boo. Using our cutting tool, we're just gonna cut it. I'm gonna do a little bit longer, 27. There we go, 27 just to be safe. I'm gonna do a few of these. Whew, that should be good enough for now. How's that? Will that hold up an entire pumpkin? I don't think it will, but I know a little trick that'll help these stiffen up a little bit. So first, we're gonna need our power drill. Oh, where the heck did it go? Oh, there's my saw. Hey, are you using this right now? You are using it? Um, uh, 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 yeah. You need it right now? Okay, I'll figure something else out. I'm a problem solver, I know how to fix this. I have other drills! But are they charged? Oh, yes, that is. So basically, I get my drill, I put it in here, there we go. Oh! And normally, I would put it in my vise and straighten it out. However, I saw a life hack where you can just use pliers. And I can use all the life hacks I could get right now. So first, we're gonna use the vise method, and we're gonna see how long this takes. 1827, that's when I'm starting. I go through a second time. Okay, I'm gonna call this one done. 1916. If my math is right, that took roughly two minutes. Now let's try our brand new friend, the life hack method uh, using pliers. We're gonna start 916, 25. Wow, that's getting so straight. Oh my gosh, that was so much faster. And we got it in one minute. That is impressive. Okay, I'm gonna do this with all of them. My attention span hurts. 
concentrating consecutively for this long hurts my brain and it's only been one hour. I also decided that uh, they weren't stiff enough so I'm cutting more of this wire too. Just a bunch of it. Because I really needed to hold up my pumpkin. So now I'm gonna take three of these that are the same length, put all these off to the side for now, and then I'm gonna start weaving them together. Kind of twist them all together at the bottom. So now I just gotta do that all the way up. There we go. I'm trying to make this as hard to bend as possible. I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to do it with this wire, but that's not bad. Now I'm gonna take this rope, make this into a point, and then hopefully we can guide it up inside of it without too much problems. There we go, got it right in there. Now I'm just gonna guide it onto it. I'm gonna pull this off and then just wrap it around. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm just gonna snip the rope. I should have probably used scissors, but wire cutters will do just fine. I'm gonna open up the end and put all the ropes inside. And now it will never escape. I'm definitely gonna have to make quite a few of these to hold up that pumpkin head. And then I'm gonna weave all these guys together. So now that I made four of them, I'm gonna try and weave all four of them together. I'm just gonna weave these three together and then have the fourth one kind of wrap around. Okay, it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna twist the whole thing together so that it feels like one just giant mesh together vine. Okay, that's a lot more stiff, not bad. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and add even more to the bottom and then have little offshoots for the vines. <sighs> just gonna go ahead and add more wire, I guess. A few inches later. Add more wire. 328 AM. Add more rope. He's pretty sturdy now, really happy with that. I gave him some tentacle arms. I don't really know what they would be, like plant arms. And then I have a bunch of the wire coming off so that I can add leaves to it. So I've been working on it for about three hours. Now I think I'm gonna go ahead and just cover this entirely in latex. Latex, latex, latex. There's gonna be so much latex on this thing. <laughs> Okay, so this looks like it is uh, very soaked in latex. We're just gonna take it outside and I'm just gonna hang it up. It's a good thing I got this clothesline here. Looking pretty good. Uh, now I just have to let this dry for a little bit. And with seven hours and 32 minutes on the clock, I don't really have a lot of time to waste, so let's get back to this guy. So before I do anything on this pumpkin, I actually went ahead and drew a little outline of how I want this pumpkin head to turn out. So the first thing I'm gonna have to do is probably add a bunch of teeth to him. But then I thought, should I really add the teeth first? I kinda wanna do everything inside before I work on all the sharp objects, right? The other things I gotta do is add like a little tongue. Uh, now I thought of maybe making the tongue more like a vine. Kind of like that, maybe it could get a little bit bigger and then almost like sit on the floor of the mouth. And in a lot of renditions of Audrey 2 I saw, they had like some sort of flower in the middle. Also, the nose is now here again, so we have the stem. And then I have to figure out a way to attach it later, but I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna make the tongue an extension of this, so that it all kind of goes together. So the first thing I gotta do is look for something to make a tongue and a flower. Oh, okay, to the attic. Ah, oh, this is so stressful! Oh my gosh, it's so hot up here. Let's see, what can we find? to use as a tongue. I just need something vine-like. Oh, a whip. Ooh, that would be fun. But I don't wanna use my fancy whip. Ooh, we have this bungee cord. We have even more rope. This rope is different enough. I guess I could use it as vines. And then this rope is really weird looking. Oh, even better, red rope. Okay, good, good. Rope for the tongue. The teeth, oh, I already know what I'm gonna make the teeth out of. This air dry clay. Easy peasy, very moldable. I've made teeth with these plenty of times in five minute crafts. The flower, oh, where am I gonna get a flower? I completely forgot that my living room is part jungle. <laughs> we have absolutely so many flowers to pick from. I'm thinking a red rose, that would be cute. Ooh, or bright purple. Yeah, let's do purple. Ugh. Thank you so much for your sacrifice, living room. I really appreciate it. Okay, I think we got everything we need. Oh no! 
Oh, I did not mean to do that. Well, this will make it easier to work on, I guess. Right now, I'm gonna be working on the clay. I'm just gonna make these long, skinny, sharp teeth. I kind of just want to put them on his mouth as I do it as well. That way it just forms to his mouth. Beautiful. Now I just got to do that a bunch more times on this side and a bunch more times on this side. So I just finished the bottom and honestly, it's looking really cool. So I really don't want the top and bottom teeth to hit each other. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a mark where I wanna add all the teeth. I thought this would be the easiest way to do it. And there we go. Okay, now I'm gonna do the other side. Okay, teeth are finished. Let's see if I messed up. Oh! On this side, we're just about good, but I need to adjust some things on this side. Oops, just need to move it back a little bit. And there we go, all fixed. I mean, that's better. Not bad, okay, looking good. Now I'm gonna put some clay to kind of like reinforce the whole back. Easy peasy. This will be kind of like his gums as well. I'm gonna bring it over to my latex table and just cover it completely in latex. Finish latexing in all the teeth and they are looking pretty good. The top uh, kind of came disconnected from the bottom. That's fine, I can fix that, not a big deal. But I also uh, had a problem letting them dry because all the drippies from the latex were going up and this is the top of it so that wouldn't make any sense. Anyway, these look awesome so far. Uh, let's start on the tongue. So I think a rope about this long should do it. I'm just guessing completely, that's what I do. I don't know why I keep doing that. And I'm gonna do the old wire trick. Oh man, I'm almost out of wire. So now, I'm gonna cut this off, and now I'm gonna try and flatten this as much as I can. You know what, that worked uh, not great. So I'm gonna grab some medical tape, and I'm gonna start laying it out on top of it. And I'm gonna do another layer. There we go. Try and flatten it out some more. A Couple more layers of that, and we should be good. Oh yes, that's a little more tongue-like. So we're gonna take the bottom of this guy and figure out how far I want the tongue to come out. Pretty good, pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and paint this and cover it in latex. I'm gonna grab some red. Ooh, that looks like a red tongue. Oh yes, nice and painted. Let's go put it out to dry. A boop bitty boop There we go. Ah, oh, and you look about done. Maybe we should start working on you again. So using the C stand, I'm gonna try and hang it up. And now, it's in the perfect position for me to paint it. A boo 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 It's time to paint this bad boy brown. This is looking more like a tree by the second. Now I'm gonna go in and paint the rest of this clay sort of purple to match the inside of the mouth. I actually ran out of this purple, so I'm gonna be using a slightly different purple. Shh, I'm sure no one will notice. Ooh, I already notice. Maybe we'll do a fun blue. Oh, yes. I think I'm down with this blue. Oh my gosh, how beautiful. I think I was supposed to mix it, but uh, it's fine. What if I mix the two together? Am I gonna regret this? I already sort of regret this, but it doesn't look bad. Anyway, so I'm gonna start painting the gums now. Hopefully this turns out okay. I'm trying to avoid getting any paint on the teeth because I want those to stay white. So the farther I get painting with this, the less I'm really liking it. I think I actually wanna go with red instead of blue because gums are generally red and not blue. I mean, I guess he is kinda like an alien guy, but honestly, I think it would just look a lot better if it was red. So I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna repaint it red, but I guess I could start on the top. Okay, we'll try this again with some red. <laughs> Oh, that does not look red. I mean, I guess it kind of does, but does it look like, oh, I could see that being gum red. So I'm gonna go with this color instead. Eventually. Okay guys, so I actually took a little break from working on this for a couple days and uh, they never dried. I think it's cause I put latex on them. So the oxygen couldn't get to them and they couldn't dry. You can tell like where I started peeling them off and it just crumbled off. Ah! So I have to essentially redo the teeth. This is what failure looks like guys. None of them are dry. They just break, look at that. Ugh. I'm gonna have to start this whole thing over again.
I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish in 10 hours now. Oh, all this hard work in the trash. So I actually went out and bought even more air dry clay. I'm hoping that this stuff is better. The other stuff I had is like three years old. That's probably part of the reason why it's so crusty. Okay, so uh, I got all of them in, and the more I'm looking at it, the more I kind of just want to make this into a more traditional looking Venus flytrap. Like, they have these really long things on them. Look at that. I think that it's more fitting for the aesthetic, personally. But then Audrey, too, just has little teeth. I also think I want to give him, like, these, like, lips that kind of come out. So I'm going to add a few more wires coming off. And then I'm gonna add the clay and make it look like he has more lips. So now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna use my new clay, slightly better clay. I have two different kinds. I have actual clay and I have this magic model clay. This is a lot lighter. So I kind of want to try and use the foam before I use the clay. Oh my gosh, whoa. Okay, so I'm just gonna roll this up. Dude, my hands are so dirty. I'm so glad I'm painting this afterwards because this is gonna get really gross really quick. So I guess I'm gonna go in and just start making a lip. So now I basically filled the entire head with some tin foil. That way it's still pretty light. And then I'm just gonna cover the entire thing in air dry foam. Just a real thin layer. Just put it straight over there. That way the roof of his mouth isn't like all the way concaved into his head. Okay, so we got the two tops reclayed together. Now I have to wait for these to dry. I'm not gonna count that as me working on it, by the way. This says it's gonna take a day, but I'm hoping it doesn't. And then I'm gonna start painting them and latexing them and doing all sorts of fun stuff. But until then, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the leaves. So I bought this really fun pot to put our Tori 2 in. It's almost like a cauldron thing. I don't know, I saw it at Lowe's and I really liked it. So I decided I'm gonna put our Tori 2 in here. But one problem, our stem, if I were to put it to the bottom, it would only be this tall. And that's cool, I guess, but I want it to be ever so slightly taller. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this piece of wood, cut it down, drill a hole in the piece of wood to place it into. That way it's just ever so slightly taller. So we want it to be about that tall. Right around here ought to do it. Perfect. Okay, that's not bad. But will it hold a pumpkin as well? It feels kinda not super stable. I'm gonna go just a little bit deeper. There we go, that's better. Now we're gonna put the lime in the coconut. Yeah, I think that's uh, that definitely made it a little taller, which was in fact our goal. So now I'm gonna go ahead and mix some concrete. So it says I need five to one ratio of water to cement. I'll just do the whole thing. Add a little bit of water. I'm hoping that's about right. This is looking pretty mixed, and according to the bottle, this should only take about an hour to dry. In retrospect, I could have almost just mixed it inside of this thing. I'm gonna take this out just to kind of help it not tip over. And while this dries, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on some other stuff. So I was gonna try and make custom leaves for this, but my time is kind of running low, and I still have to repaint this entire head. So I went up to the attic, and I managed to find this bag of miscellaneous flowers. I think I might be able to find some leaves that look like pumpkin leaves in here. This looks like a pumpkin leaf. Now I just gotta find a bunch more. So I managed to find all of these and I got some of these tiny pumpkins at Michael's. They were kind of expensive just for a little vine. This was $13? Are you joking? I'm gonna start putting some foliage on this little tree and just start putting it on just like that. See, there we go. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and just put one of these little pumpkins at the end of each one. Okay, this is looking a lot more plant-like. I'm really liking this a lot, actually. It really just needed leaves and tiny pumpkins. If I have enough time, I'm gonna paint the, the tiny pumpkins uh, nice and orange, but if not, you know, white looks fine. And with about two hours left on the clock, I might just be able to finish it in time. Okay, I'm gonna try and attempt to paint this. It's still kind of soft, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, so it's been about an hour. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and shove my plant right in there. Wow! 
Oh yeah, that's stable. And I can still pull it out if I really need to. I just have to figure out how I want to attach the pumpkin right here. I wonder how I'm gonna do it. While I think about it, I'm gonna start painting the underside of this orange because there really is no time to waste. So I went in and I started adding leaves to the top. That way I can put the pumpkin right on top of it. Now I have to let it sit here and dry for about 24 hours until I can really do anything. <laughs> so I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. So it's the next day. Uh, this is kind of dry. It definitely still feels very squishy and it feels like it still needs to dry a little bit longer. But I was just messing around and I made an awful discovery. So I actually started taking all these leaves off and that's because when I put the pumpkin on, it doesn't hold it. It's not strong enough. Ah! And that's only the top part. It's supposed to hold both parts. This is gonna be so heavy. So now I have to basically reinforce this. What I think I'm gonna do is go in and insert some of this rebar. This rebar is so strong and it's so hard to bend. But the only downside is I have to basically put a bunch of rope on it and start painting it to look the exact same. And I only have an hour and 43 minutes left. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish in time. My workspace is so dirty and I need to clean it up. I don't even have time for this. So now I'm gonna attempt to bend this rebar. So now I can just put the pumpkin on this guy. Okay, is it gonna work? Yeah, not bad. So this actually looks really good in my opinion, but I think what I'm gonna have to end up doing is adding another piece of rebar on the side of this and have it hold the bottom. It's coming together, it really is. But I don't have a lot of time left. Okay, so I got my second piece of rebar installed. I'm just gonna put it together. Yeah, not bad. I kind of wish his mouth was a little bit more open, but I think so far, it's looking really good. I had a few things break along the way, like inside of his mouth. It's kind of broken from the rebar now. I got little dinks and dents, so I'm gonna have to repaint a lot of this, and I still have to repaint all these vines. And I also still need to insert his tongue. I don't even know how I'm gonna figure that out. It's looking pretty good though, but I still have a lot of work left on it. So the next thing I did was I grabbed my hot glue gun and I started putting some texture on the lips, kind of like that. So now it looks like there's a bunch of vines coming out or like, I don't know, like the mouth has a lot more texture now. And I also started covering it in some latex because that's one of the other things I was gonna start doing. Almost to give it kind of like a, a slimy texture and also to finish it off. That way the paint stays really nice. So I only have about an hour left. I definitely don't think I'm gonna be able to finish this in time, which makes me kind of sad. So I guess I'm gonna be spending over 10 hours on this project, this one pumpkin, which I guess is fine. But dang, I really thought I could get it done in 10 hours. So that's kind of a bummer. So I ended up covering everything so far, uh, the mouth and latex. I put a bunch of paper towels in here to kind of cover up the hole that I just busted open. I got the top part all finished, also covered in latex. It's looking pretty good. I think it's gonna look a lot better when it's dry. I still have to somehow figure out this back part right here. So I think I'm gonna have to get some of this rope paint it brown, cover this whole thing up as much as I can, and then uh, just kind of hot glue it to this so that it looks like a vine is coming out of it. At least that's my plan. With about 16 minutes left, I started painting the inside of his mouth. The paint dried really fast, but the vines, really happy with that. And with only 24 seconds left, I still have so much left to do on this. I definitely am going over on my time limit. Ah! Mm. Time's up. Well, I'll give myself another five hours. Just kidding. Okay, I got three hours. Three more hours to work on this. Woo! Go me, 13 hours. I also painted the inside of his mouth blue and I think it looks really cool. So I came up with this last minute idea where I basically paint these leaves. I'm just gonna put them all over my floor because I don't really have enough time to do them in batches big enough for my table. The intern's gonna love me after this. But then I wanna do it with all these leaves too. Oh, that's gonna look so cool. I have to take out the tiny pumpkins. <gasps> I can still paint the tiny pumpkins. Okay, so I added a little bit of pink, 
on all the leaves. I thought it would look cool. I have mixed feelings about it. It only took me, oh my gosh, 20 minutes. Now I'm going in with my tiny hot glue gun and I actually have glow in the dark hot glue that I'm just putting in all the little holes. It looks good. It's like a slime kind of going through him. And then when you turn off the lights, it's gonna glow, be real fun. So now I have to re-add all the leaves. And there she is, nice and covered in leaves. I'm still waiting for all the paint inside of her mouth to dry, but I'm really liking how the leaves are turning out. Some of them are falling off uh, because I have her on this rotating platform. <laughs> I'm probably gonna stop that for a sec. It's making me dizzy. And since I gave myself more time, I decided I am going to paint my little pumpkins. So while I'm waiting for these to dry, I decided I'm gonna start working on the flower with the tongue in the middle of his mouth. And I started taking apart flowers and stacking them on top of each other. So now I got a sunflower in the middle, a blue flower, and then a pink flower. And I'm just gonna keep stacking it until I get a really fat flower. I basically took off the stem and now I'm just stacking all the little petals from the other ones on top of it, just like that. It's like six different flowers in one. So I grabbed my tongue that I made earlier and I left a little wire kind of hanging out like this. And this is where I'm gonna put the flower. Now I'm just gonna put a bunch of leaves on it, just like that. Some foliage, just to give it a little bit of depth. I'm gonna grab the flower that we made and just put it right on there. But now it's just sitting on his tongue. Perfect. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna hot glue it in. While I'm at it, I decided to add some more uh, glow-in-the-dark hot glue to his tongue. That way, it looks like he just has all this glow-in-the-dark spit. More latex. More latex on everything. Everything needs more latex. But look how good it looks. Wow. Guys, I put on the tiny pumpkins, and I have to say, this is coming together so good. I am so happy with this so far. Oh my gosh, look at all, what? So now I'm just waiting for the tongue to dry and inside the mouth, and then I'm gonna put the tongue inside the mouth, and then it should be just about completed. Okay guys, are you ready for the magic moment where everything comes together? And it is complete! Look how good that turned out, oh. My gosh, I am so happy with this. Absolutely amazing. It's like I took a moment and I just froze a perfect encapsulating moment. It's like it's in slow-mo. Woo! Oh my gosh, that's so cool. <gasps> There's one other thing I have to do, and that is put some straw inside the pot. It's just like a pumpkin patch, you see? They have straw and hay uh, pumpkin patches. So now, that's what I'm gonna put in here, I guess. There we go. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Dude, that fits it perfectly. I'm also just gonna add a little bit of the Spanish moss uh, to almost accent it a little bit. Just in really inconspicuous places, you see? Just like that. Don't mind me, just putting on some moss. And with my 15 plus hours of work on this thing, here Here's how it turned out. Okay guys, so after 15 hours of work and making a huge mess in my studio, it's finally complete. Look. How beautiful, uh, fantastic, absolutely super happy with this. So just to review, I spent about one minute carving this pumpkin. I spent about one hour carving this pumpkin and overall about 15 hours carving this one. Oh, Tori Dabransky. Yes? Hey, I got you something. Do you want to come see it? It's in the craft corner. What did you get me? It's a surprise, come on, let's go. Let's go, come on. Okay, let's go. Okay, Tori Dabransk. Behind this wall is something I spent over 15 hours on. Are you ready to see it? In a long time, I'm ready. So here's the blueprints of what I was trying to make, okay? Hey, this is cute. Tori too, yeah? So I'm just trying to block it. That's cute though. I like it. Are you ready to see the final product? Yes, yes. Come here, come here. Look, here it is. Oh my God, it even spins. Yeah, I put it on a spinning platform. That's so cute, you did such a good job. Look at him go. Oh my God, look at him. I like it, Robbie. 
Yeah. Very fun. I had to start over twice because oh some things got messed up. Oh no. Why is there a bunch of pink on it? It's just the the, the leaves. I put pink on the leaves because okay. it's it's a it's a rainforest plant. I, I just thought it would make it look uh look cool. You did a good job. Are these movable? Yeah, you can, you can, can move them. them. You can make them say hello. I had him holding a selfie stick earlier. You did? I did. He had a selfie stick and he was taking a photo with the GoPro. It was really cute. That's cute. I like it. You did a good job. Good pumpkin. And it's going to last forever because it's a real pumpkin. Mm. You don't think it's going to last forever? It's not a real pumpkin. Oh, no. just kidding. And it's going to last forever because it's a fake pumpkin. It's very cute. Very scary. I'm glad you like it. Take it out of here. Take it to your room. What? I want to lift it up by myself. I want it to fall and get damaged and break. Okay, I'll help you move oh. it. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a big ol' thumbs up. We'll submit this fight right down there. If you want to check out the video I made last year where I made a super spooky pumpkin, you can check it out right here. Okay, guys, I love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Oh, right, I think. Okay, bye. Ah!